Welcome everybody, my name is Fong Chua. I'm a business strategist, entrepreneur, real estate investor, and also a best-selling author. Today, I have the opportunity to have an amazing guest. This is someone I've worked with for a few years now, and he is just a person who really takes on challenges head on and overcomes them every single time we, we talk about it. So, he is a best-selling author of the book, Smile Your Way to Success. Please welcome Arjun Chowdhury. Hi everybody, thanks Paul for having me. Hey, thanks for being here. Now, for people who don't really know you, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure, um, so as you mentioned, I'm a best-selling author, and I'm a keynote speaker, and I'm a corporate trainer, and I'm also a chemical engineer. Awesome, now congratulations right now for having your very first book published, and also getting best-selling status. Now, tell us a little bit about why people should get your book. Uh, thanks Wonga, so my book is called, uh, it's my debut book, it's called Smile Your Way to Success. And the focus of the book is the positive impacts on, of humor on the various aspects of your life, such as on your mindset, on relationships, on career, on health. And um, people should get my book because it's got a combination of uh, success stories, both my personal stories and celebrity success stories. And it also has uh, research studies from around the world, which gives you the facts and figures. And it also has um, particular strategies that you can implement to improve the humor and happiness in your life so that's the reason i feel that people should buy my book and obvious happiness is very very important in anybody's success correct absolutely yes now for for something like you mentioned at the beginning that you're a chemical engineer and what was your what was your life like before you ventured into any of this type of uh, business entrepreneurship or investments or book writing what was your life like what was your mindset like uh, so when i was um I'm still an engineer, but when I was, uh, before meeting you, my life was basically a nine to five uh, life. It was um, basically focusing on very, on technical aspects of engineering principles and doing some extracurricular activities outside of the workplace. Um, but when I met you, I got exposed to a whole new world. I understood that there's a world of possibilities out there and there's just so much you can achieve from life. And after I'm meeting you, my growth level accelerated. So thank you, for, thank you for coming into my life. Oh, thank you very much. Now, for a person who, let's say if you didn't venture into any of this stuff, uh, where would you see yourself right now if you did not do any of the business stuff? I would see, see myself at the same exact position. Um, having met you and having um, accomplished so many things over the last couple of years since knowing you, it's given me this uh, whole new level of confidence and, and belief in myself that I can do so much more with my life. Well, great. Well, congratulations on all those achievements. Now, for a person who uh, wasn't really used to this type of mindset, what was the first first thing that came into mind? Like, how did you conquer that type of hurdle? Going, okay, I need to break through my traditional thought process and then moving on to um, entrepreneurship, investments, real estate, or even book writing. How did you go through that process? Well, um, it took a while, I must say. And I mean, when, when a change happens in your life, it takes time for you to get used to that change. And having known you and the kind of things that you are doing with your life, you know, and, 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 and those who you surround yourself with and what sort of success they've achieved in life, what sort of uh, expose, exposure they've got, you know, um, it gave me, you know, that, that extra push, you know, what that uh, I need to get into that frame of mind and mindset so that I can be in the same position that you and your uh, friend circle have been in. Awesome. Now, one of, the, one of the challenges that I've actually presented to you was writing a book. What was the first thing that came to mind when I go, you know what, it's time to write, to write a book, to build that credibility, to build that exposure. So, what was that thought? Did you go, okay, no problem, I'll write that book, or was there some conflict in your mind? Well, obviously, when the thought of writing a book, there was an, a sense of excitement. Uh, I felt, wow, it, it seems exciting to write your book. Uh, but then also there was that fear, um, the thought of unknown as to how is this going to happen? You know, what are the steps that takes place? How many years is it going to take? So that was the thought that came in my mind. <laughs> now, did the thought of who am I to write a book ever came to you? Yes, it did. It did. <laughs> how about the question, who's going to read my book? Yes. And, and how about that person has written a book and they are more successful to, than me, why would I write one? Correct. Now, how did, you, how did you overcome those? Well, um, what I thought about was, okay, there might be a book on public speaking or humor or there might be so many books, but I'm giving my interpretation of that subject, which will be different to what others give. Everybody has a voice and has, has the right to express their opinions. And I just thought that personalizing my book uh, and there will be an audience out there that will read it. 
So for a lot of people who write their books, they kind of have their own reasons to, as to why, whether it's to share their story, to build exposure, to build credibility. What was your, what was your final decision, like reason to decide to write a book? Humor is a, is a topic that I'm extremely passionate about. Uh, and I just wanted to share the powerful impact of uh, humor on people's lives with, with, with people. So that was one of the primary reasons. And the second reason was it just gives you more credibility having become an author. Mm -hmm. So those are two of my main reasons. Okay, now when you first started writing that book, you're, you're not done writing the book, you just started writing, you start, start, started doing your, your outline, your ideas and all that kind of stuff. How did you find that affect your life? When you start telling people, hey, I'm gonna be writing a book. Oh, I'm gonna be, this is my next big project, I'm writing a book. What was your first feel? What, what did people, how did people respond to you? Well, every time I told somebody that, hey, I'm, I'm writing my first ever book, they were all so excited about it and they were, they were encouraging to me. They said, keep on going. I want, I want to uh, get a signed copy of the book when it's done. So, so, I mean, it got me a lot of respect from people. And, and because I was writing every day on my book on, on, a, on a topic that I was extremely passionate about, it gave me a lot of happiness personally in my life every day writing a few lines. Mm -hmm. So even if you're not done your book and you're just in the progress progress of doing it you've already found a difference in what people say to you how people treat you how people were be able to engage with you absolutely yeah. so so it's already in the fact even when it's not started yes right well now when it comes to writing the book itself lots of people are going wow it's gonna take a long time I need months I need years I need five six years whatever it is for you was the process easy I would say certain parts were easy, certain parts were more challenging than the others. Um, my book was, I wanted to cater it to both the right brain audience and the left brain audience. So I had a, I had a balance of stories and facts and figures. So the story part was fun, um, easy, uh, because I could use my creative skills to write you know, um, those stories and use uh, like diverse choice of words. And it reminded me of the time of when I used to write numerous essays in my English class in my school in Singapore. So I really enjoyed that. But I also wanted to cater to the left brain audience by giving them facts and figures and the necessary research. And that took some time to gather and uh, the, the ways in which I could incorporate in my book, the thought process took a bit of, a, bit of time, but obviously it was, it was fun doing all that as well. Now at the beginning, when you were going into the book writing process, I'm sure that it could feel very overwhelming that you had to start on a certain a topic, have everything outlined, have everything planned out and all that kind of stuff. Was it, how much time did you save when I was able to provide you that, that guidance and also that template where basically you're just copying and pasting whatever you need to put in there. I mean, having you in my life as a coach who could guide me throughout the entire step of uh, uh, the book process was really helpful. And I don't think well, without your support, motivation, encouragement, I would have been able to complete this project. So, so thank you very much for that. Oh, well, you did the work. So congratulations on all that great success, right? Now, when a person goes through this process and they're writing, how, how did you feel? When you're writing it, um, I feel like I felt extremely happy. Like I said, right, because it was um, about a topic that I was extremely interested in, and I and I was very motivated to share my voice with with the rest of the world. So it gave me tremendous amount of happiness every time I wrote a line of my book. Great. Now we we all know that once you finish writing that book, there's that next process. You finish doing all the editing. Now you're converting it into an ebook. Now we had that really really a uh, stressful day. Right? It's that day where you feel lots of pressure getting it sold on eBay, not eBay, sorry, the, um, on, on Amazon for your ebook. And that process, how did that process feel? Launching your book on, on, on Amazon and then getting people to be excited about your book, promoting your book, and just talking about your book during that period of time. You know you're very close to that end game now. So how did that process feel? Um, that process, again, it excited me because I was launching my debut book and uh, just uh, being able to connect with, my, uh, uh, with, with the people I know and, for, and getting their support in my book was, was really exciting for me. I mean, it was a lot of work, let me tell you. A lot of work went through that, but uh, it was my debut book, so I was very excited for it. <laughs> now, you finally see that best-selling author status pop up on Amazon. How was that like? I was on top of the world. I was so thrilled um, and, and ecstatic when I found out that my book made it to number one bestseller. And you know, I just want to thank all those individuals who supported me in my book. So it, it was a very special feeling. Okay. Now, the next step of that was getting your first proof copy. Like opening up the mail, taking out that actual paper copy of the book. And we have one right here. Smile your way to success. The first time you flipped through this book, 
the first time it's in reality. What did that feel like? Mission accomplished, <laughs> mission happiness. Awesome. And then the final other uh, hurdle that you had to pass is getting it through the proofing pro process, having ordered hundreds and copies of the, your book, and then opening up that, that package, seeing it stacks and stacks and stacks of your book that you can go out and promote and sell and give away. How did that feel? It felt that my vision has become a reality. Mm -hmm. Now, for other people goes, you know what, writing a book's not for me, it's too hard. What's the first thing that you have to do? I would say that um, as long as you have um, discipline, persistence, and consistency in your life, and you're willing to do that, you can become an author. Because mm -hmm. everybody has that message that they want to share. Right. right? Now, having, having completed your first book, what's your next big thing? So the next big thing in my life is going to be the start of um, Happiness 365 project, which is something that I will announce uh, next week. And then I'll be focusing on my, my keynote speaking business and my um, course business. Mm -hmm. Now, if you had a, an opportunity to speak to everybody in the world, uh, what's the main key to success? What's the main key to success? I would say uh, the main key to success is a couple of things that's it, okay? It's uh, having strong work ethics, having discipline and persistence, and getting a coach. Awesome. Now, you mentioned the coach, and I had the opportunity and the honor to work with you. How would you say my process is compared to other coaches and your experience with me uh, versus, because you've, you've met with a few other coaches, you've talked to a few other coaches, you also watched how they do their presentations and their, their talks. What's the main difference that you find working with me? So first, I just want to say that it was an honor to work with you. So thank you for giving me that opportunity. Um, what I sp find special about you is um, the fact that uh, you're, you're focused on results and getting your clients to take action, you know, uh, and making them progress in life. So I, so that is something I, I really appreciate about you. I also like the fact um, the, uh, how caring you are, um, how prompt you are with your email responses. I remember, remember watching one of your episodes of uh, the Peak Potential Success Show and you had one of uh, your guests who mentioned that Fong is extremely caring, you know, that, and you should work with him. And as soon as I heard that, I, I could resonate with it because you are really caring and you care about your clients uh, so much. Mm -hmm. Now, you have an opportunity now to, to kind of share more about uh, what you do, what you love doing with other people. For instance, how do you help people? How do you, how do you engage with them? What's, what's your secret? Of engaging with people? Yeah. Um, I would say just try to understand their perspective as to what is important in their life, you know, and try to um, tap into their potential and add value to them and just, just, just take interest in their lives. Great. Now, if anybody wants to get in touch with you, uh, to either get a copy of your book right here, uh, what's the best way to get in touch with you? So you can uh, get in touch with me through my uh, uh, website, which is missionhappinesstoday.com. Um, and my email is there. Uh, you can connect with me on Facebook and LinkedIn and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. It's all on my website, missionhappinesstoday.com. Well, great. Thank you very much for that. Now, we always love asking some quick rapid fire questions to our guests. So are you ready for some quick questions? Sure. Okay. So if you had the opportunity to fly anywhere in the world right now, where would you fly to? I would fly to um, Chicago, Illinois, because my sister, my brother-in-law, and my nephew lives there, and I would love to see them. What was the first thing you would do when you're there? I would hug them. And where would you take them to? What activity would you take them to do? I would just go for a simple walk with them in the <laughs> park. Now, you're, you're being told, hey, we're, we're letting you stay at our place, so it's only fair that you need to cook us dinner. What would you prepare for them? I would prepare for them uh, chicken, chicken cashew nut with hoisin sauce and a bed of uh, steamed fragrant jasmine rice. <laughs> very, very cool. Now, and finally, what is success like? And for those of you who haven't watched any of our videos before, when I ask what is success like, he's gonna pick uh, one of three cards and they have random items on them and he's gonna say success is like that item. Are you ready? Yes. So there's three cards here. So what is success like? So like this one here. Success is like a tightrope. In a tightrope, 
success is like a tightrope because you have to take um, very detailed uh, steps and you have to be extremely cautious and uh, you see where you have to end up in and um, that's what the tightrope concept is and basically um, in, when it comes to success you have to be very careful of what direction you go and put your uh, sort of activities and energy in, in the correct direction so that you can reach the final destination. Great, awesome, thank you very much. And for those of you who didn't see it, it actually is it says tightrope. So there's no preparation involved. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much for your time and all, of course your, your knowledge and your, your stories to share. And is there anything, final words that you wanna share with everybody else? I would say that uh, every person in this world uh, has been put in for a particular purpose. Find your purpose and go and do it. Very good words. So, and in conclusion, remember to pick up a copy of this book. You can contact Arjun. And really, today is the day to unlock your potential. We'll see you next time. Take care.